We've been talking about the vice presidential nominees all morning, but what about the top of the ticket? If you take 270 electoral votes to win the White House, so where does the map stand right now? Here to help us crunch the numbers in some key battleground states, Caitlin Huey Burns of Real Clear Politics. All right, the battleground states are the gray states, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So let's take a look at where uh, Clinton and Trump are currently leading in these key battlegrounds. Okay, let's uh, start out with Hillary Clinton, and we will turn those states blue. Right. So let's let's give her a Wisconsin just for how polling is right now. There you go. There we go. And and how about Michigan as well? All let's right. Let's give her Virginia because she's leading there. And let's go ahead and give her Colorado just because she's leading there as well. All right. You need 270. She's still short. Exactly. So, so let's look at places where where Trump can can do well. Okay. Let's give him Arizona just because. Traditionally, Republicans do well there. Uh, Georgia, even. Let's even give him North Carolina. Look right. how close that is. He's leading in Ohio and he's leading in Iowa. Those are key battlegrounds. Look at this map right now. Look at the three so states that come down, down to, those to. Three Florida, Nevada, and Pennsylvania. Now, you know how much time Clinton and Trump are spending in Pennsylvania. Sure. Here's why. Even if Trump wins, say, Nevada and Florida. Okay. He's still below short. the threshold. If Clinton wins Pennsylvania, there, she's, she's Just above by three. the threshold. So it's very close. Now, if Trump can keep it close in Pennsylvania, Real Clear Politics has about four points Clinton leading in that state right now. If he can win the state, he gets over that threshold. Right. If not, it's, it's for the Democrats, and that's why they're spending so much time in that key battleground state. Let me ask you something, because you guys at RealClearPolitics.com look at this all the time. You know, when, and there's a difference between unscientific polls and online polls and polls right. that are automated or polls where somebody calls you up on the phone. When somebody calls you up on the phone, in their, you know, I think it, it, it was out in Los Angeles referred to as the Bradley effect, where people didn't want to appear uh, biased against somebody. They would tell the person, oh, I would never, essentially in this case, they'd say, oh, I'd never uh, vote for Donald Trump because I don't want to be regarded as a racist, bigot, whatever the latest adjective is in there. Has anybody been able to quantify what that number of people who say, no, I'd never vote for him, but actually mm -hmm. are planning to? Not yet. And I know Republicans, and especially the Trump campaign, has been talking about these uh, closet Trump supporters yeah. who may not be reflected in the polls, but will come out in the race. And there could be some of that on the Clinton side, too. Remember, sure. these are two very unpopular candidates. That's kind of what we're dealing with. But that wasn't really reflected in the primaries. The people who said that they would come out right. uh, pretty much did. So I'm not sure I buy that just yet. Uh, but these polls are close. And are. that's why you're seeing Trump in Nevada today. Uh, for example, really competing heavily there and sure. all these battleground states. This is decided by a handful of states. A absolutely. And if Pennsylvania goes for Trump, he wins. Exactly. And, and right. reverse for Clinton. All Good right. to see you. Caitlin, Thanks. Thank you fun. very much.